giving time and talent, Tiffany Pope. Last but not You're still here, just be prepared, put your medals back on, and after this, we're gonna get all the honorees here, and everybody with their cell phones, you get them all together uh, for a grand procession. And then we'll be out of here. Everybody has gotten their food, and, and there you go. I will start off with Ski! First of the year 2023, based on alphabetical order, please. Given your time and your talent, I found you, I found you and many of the honorees so fascinating with your time and talent. Tiffany Paul, Lee Pitts Live Person of the Year 2023. For your relentless volunteer work to make our community a better place to live, work, play, and do business. As the president of Omega Chapter Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, you graciously shared your volunteer leadership skills with important organizations in our community, such as Childhood Hunger Initiative, Power Pack Program, United Way of Southwest Florida, Southwest Florida Jack and Jill of America, and Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. As if this were not enough, you are a supervisor for the Lee County Sheriff's Office where you worked for over 20 years. Yours is the service that we can all marvel and model ourselves as the true example. <laughs> Title sponsor the North Law Firm, Gold Sponsor Lee Health, Naples Botanical Garden, Topless Construction, All-American Social Security Disability Representation, LLC. I feel so great when I read these sponsors' names. Oh, here we go. 2023. 2024, April 13th. Here we go. Let's take a few things to, to move forward on, because we had so much. It was something in there about hunger. Tell me what that was. I, I, I can't remember it. What was the name of that organization? Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated through um, one of our initiatives, our international initiatives, is to provide childhood hunger packs on a weekly basis to students in middle, high school, or elementary school. Our organization, Theta Nova Omega Chapter, partners with the Terry Heffern um, Heritage and Food Bank along with Dunbar High School. And we do provide about 80 packs every weekend that go home to, to students. Hunger packs. What's in these packs? The hunger packs are very similar to Blessings in a Backpack. They provide three meals um, on the weekend and they also include fruits and vegetables. Outstanding. And you play a critical role with the United Way of Southwest Florida, you've been with them for many years in allocating resources. That's a powerful role, United Way. Talk about your role with the United Way and how, if you do, try to make sure that resources come to our communities as well. Very proud to say that I've served as this week on my 10th year on a fund distribution team, 1010, the greatest team in all of allocations. Uh, Plachette Williams Roberts is my co-leader along with the Lee County Tax Collector, Noel Brandy. Um, the fund distribution is very important and integral part in the community. Um, we do visit partner agencies of the United Way, and we do not fund the agencies, we fund specific programs. So the programs have to be on duplicated services and service and franchise, and I'm happy to report that we um, have the opportunity to provide funding to programs that start as early as in your mother's room all the way to the grave. So very proud of that work. We just funded two great organizations um, this past week. And um, our community is doing some great things. Our allocations process 
is still accepting members. We still are visiting in um, organizations, so we still need volunteers for that. And we are $800,000 away from our goal, so please consider being a contributor to the United Way. Jackie Gio of Southwest Florida is up and running. And uh, in a nutshell, just to promote Jack and Jill and the stuff that they're doing in the community, when we think of our local Jack and Jill, what should we think of? You should think of promoting growth and success for all children. You should think of cultural experiences for all children, especially children of color. Our fearless leader, I don't see her in the room anymore, but I do serve as the chaplain, so I do get the opportunity to pray. I'm an um, immediate um, team sponsor. Um, Last year, that's my role that I served in, and I serve as the protocol chair. But what we do is impart um, knowledge and give students, the team, especially our teams, the opportunity to serve and to lead and to run their own meetings. Um, they do a lot of work in the community. And the importance of family and family values is something that we also promote, but it all boils down to helping children to succeed and giving them the tools to do so. Let's give her a hand. Final thing before you get in trying, and this is our last one until next year. And who will be up here? We'll see. I remember when I interviewed you on television. It's one of those rare things. And I've interviewed about 25,000 people. It was one of those rare things, and I'll share it with the, um, the audience here. You when you were talking about yourself and introducing yourself, you like, were passionate about mentioning that you were a member of Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. Most people, when I interview them, they don't mention their church unless it's like a church thing. I, I, in fact, I can't recall anybody who did, does that. Tell me why that was so important that you got that out of your mouth on television. Born and raised at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. I'll be 45 this year and have been a proud member of Friendship Missionary Baptist Church for 45 years. Had a great mentor and leader in James Arthur Bean who baptized myself and all of my children. Very proud of that. Set a great foundation for us. And to not be proud to serve under the leadership of Pastor Jared Scott Parker and our wonderful first lady. Raise your Pastor. Parker. First lady. for Christ-like um, behaviors and attributes and to serve in a church. To have a pastor has been here less than a year and have over 120 people to have given their life to Christ or to join a church. There are great things going on at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. And I enjoy serving in a place where we get to elevate the society and by the saints, evangelize sinners, and at all times, exalt the Savior. And I'm very proud of the work that we do over there. I'm very proud of the evangelism. And to watch children, little children, walk up and down that aisle to join and accept Christ as their personal Savior. And to also watch older and seasoned members do the same. And to serve under a new administration where most times you get a new pastor in town and people leave a church. But people have come home. We've had a whole time. And we also have new members coming in to see people so excited about Christ. Um, Matthew 20, I think, tells us that um, the Lord came in this world to serve and not to be served. And to watch the service that we provide. And that is my ultimate goal in life as well, is to serve and not to be served. And so it's with great pride and honor to, to be a part of a ship that is doing just that. Well, the dynamic Yvonne Pole recognize your table and your family that's here first. Let's do their uh, stand up and wave. I think your family's here, so people go ahead, wave, wave. You're famous now, you're on TV. Okay, and uh, it was a uh, pleasure. And let's send you over to the Senator of Dunbar, Attorney Joe North, to formally induct you into the Leap is Live Person of the Year. All of them. With all rights and privileges 
pertaining therein. Beautiful ceremony. Your swag bag with all kinds of good stuff in there from everybody. Naples Botanica, Gordon Lee Hill, the North Law Firm, Leap His Live. You even got a Leap His Live cap. Yeah. Let's give her another hand. Hello everybody, this is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.